Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 130, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've, uh, we've had all the chats, we've done all the things, we've finished all the side quests, and the last thing we have to do is to head back to Dantooine and meet the Jedi Enclave, or the Jedi Masters that we have united. So let me find my right button here. There we go. So we can go game only and hit the galaxy map. And no, oh, uh, where's Dantooine? No, Corbon. There we go. Dantooine. All right. And let's travel there. Dramatic flights are dramatic. And unfortunately, it, it changes applications, and therefore, um, XSplit doesn't 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 bother showing anything because it's not the game. I was kind of wondering about that. I, I really, I understand why they did what they did when they did it, but it would have been nice to have had it all all in in the game, so to speak. But that is putting a lot of past stuff on, or a lot of present stuff backwards to the past. Who knew that we would be doing game streaming in Twitch at the time? All right, let us off the ship. All right, who do I want to bring with me? I want to bring the Handmaiden. I have a funny feeling that uh, Visa is going to end up on the group, whether I want her to be there or not. Or sorry, not Visa, Korea. Let's go ahead and add her. Okay. I mean, it's the best party I got. Well, oh, that poor druid. And I did, never did find out what armor he uh, offers up. But I'm just not that good of a Pazak player, and uh, that got that got old quick. All right, I need to make it to the Jedi Enclave, which which means I need to head to the right, yeah, to get to the courtyard on the west side. If you remember when we were last here on Dantooine, uh, before we participated in the guarding of the uh, the main the main area, there was a a door that was sealed, and now is the time to go through that. We found the four Jedi Masters. We've uh, convinced them that we're not we're not that bad after all. All right, I don't think there's anything new to talk about with those guys. Um, the The only person I'd really want to talk to is the one that sells the Jedi artifacts to get more crystals, but uh, it's not really an option. Uh oh. Movie time. Hmm. Oh. So there's the... Oh, so the door just... Opens. Because subtlety... Subtlety wasn't a thing when this game came out? I guess not. Alright. I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't have taken out the beasties that were there. Alright, let's see if the re... Oh, I wonder if it's also remodeled. Because some of the Enclave doesn't seem to fit... Uh, uh -oh. Hmm. What's about to happen here? Oh, that's right. That's the dude from the Rebellion. Out of my way. I am Colonel Tobin of the Underon Mil- Lord, I, I bring news. 
of the Jedi. A place where you may feed. Uh oh. Telos, Master. There is an academy of Jedi on Telos. Perhaps hundreds of them. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see hundreds of people you. over on Telos. And enough for you, enough for you to free Onderon. Mm -hmm. Enough for you to free Onderon. I don't think he's going to do that for you there, buddy. All right. It, it is different. It has been some time. Uh, this does look a little bit closer to the courtyard that we used a lot in the first Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I wonder if this is... I wonder if this is supposed to be that. Maybe not. Oh, are you, are you turning a little less dark there, uh, old lady? Council awaits. I will remain here. Uh, very well. Stay here. Are you sure? What's wrong? Anytime he gives you a skill check, it's not a bad idea to use it. So let's try our awareness. You're afraid. Yes. Afraid for you. Mm -hmm. As I always have been, I will be fine here. Whatever answers the Council have are for you alone. Uh-huh. Is there anything wrong? I am tired. The journey has been a long one, and I need to center myself. Yeah, why? Why am I not? Why am I not believing that? I feel a whole lot of disbelief here. Maybe a little bit. Know that much may happen here, but above all, do not forget this: you may trust in me. Mm -hmm. We cradle each other's lives, and what yeah. threatens one no, of us you know what? threatens us both. And if you find you cannot trust me, trust in your training, trust in yourself. Never I trust in myself more than I trust you. Done. You're the one who All saved uh, Colonel Tobin there and uh, Anhar earlier, much earlier. And they shall see what you have become. Hmm. Hey, it's the Council of Windbags. But perhaps that is for the best. Aren't we missing one? We're missing one. We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us. And I imagine you have many questions. Oh, I have many questions. Perhaps you've come for revenge. Did you not go to join him? No. It is a battle he must face alone. Uh, but Atris, I found she has them. not come. Of course she has not. All right. Uh, but And actually, some of what's going on, I, I wish I knew, because the game's a little short on answers up to this point. I have come to kill you all. No. Uh, I need to know what you, what you. I need to know what you spoke of when you cast me out of the order. Why were you all in hiding? Yeah, except you found. F oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I'm trying to like. You were sent after four Jedi Masters. I see only three standing before me. I, I forgot that the Jedi Master on Korriban had already been dead. All we found was her corpse. So that leaves three Jedi Master to talk to. So we must ally. Why did you cast me out of the Order? Let's, uh... Why did you cast me out of the Order? We cast you out of the Order because you followed Revan to war. There was no other reason. No, there was another. You had become different somehow. Changed. Yeah. The war had changed you. You were no longer a Jedi, but we could not tell you why. Some explanations mean nothing unless the one who suffers comes to the answer on their own. Is this what about me being disconnected? Is punishment enough, and the Jedi do not kill their prisoners. Mm -hmm. If you had stayed, you would have changed us, and that we could not allow. 
changed you. What do you mean? You already know the answer. You've noticed it in those who travel with you. Uh. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Do come back and, and like I said, uh, I don't actually. I don't think you were on when I mentioned that. All the stuff that I'm streaming today, I release in a series of episodes on YouTube throughout the week. So hit the YouTube link in the description and uh, and subscribe over there, and you'll be able to pick up from the beginning up through what I record today. And uh, thank you. Thank you again for stopping by. I deeply appreciate that. Uh, give a follow. I do this every Friday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Um... Do, do you guys think that, uh... Could someone just give me a straight answer? Well, what about my companions? Have you noticed that when you act, others follow? Those that travel with you. There's something wrong here. A disturbance in the Force. Do not let them hurt him. They follow you without question, without hesitation. Against their instincts, and sometimes against their sense. It is because you are a leader, but that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, are you saying I'm controlling them? I'm a leader, a general no longer? Uh, hey, hey, hey. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Thanks for that. All right, uh... Are you saying I'm controlling them? It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the I'm bond a that familiar that it happens. When one truly Everybody keeps talking about them like I should know. It is developed over time through understanding of each other. And if you do it so easily, and we do not know why. You make connections through the force, and it resonates with those who travel with you. The resonance is even greater when they too are force sensitive. Your actions affect others more than you know. You draw others to So I took the leadership feat? Those strong is that what I heard? When you suffer, their spirit echoes or is this the uh, Jedi equivalent of Thrall Herd? Uh, so how did this happen? <laughs> we do not know, but it is not the first time you felt the weight of so many lives. And that is why the Mandalorian Wars echo within you still. Well, I mean... So all... Oh. So all those deaths at Malachor? We did not cut you off from the Force. You were merely deafened to it. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian Wars. Mm. The screams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity, annihilated. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet, and within you. To hear the Force over such pain, it is not possible. It was too much for any Jedi to endure, and it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished. All those you had fought with and struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to I don't to know, survive. what is the Taco Bell you equivalent? of it in the war on Doxin. Malachor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. At last. You could hear. You were broken. You were whole. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. Mm -hmm. When you returned to us, we saw what had happened. You carry all those deaths at Malachor within you. And it has left a hole, a hunger that cannot be filled. In you, oh. we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. I, I wonder if they're going to tell me that Darth, Nihilus, and I are the same person, just kind of split. Alright, uh, but that makes no sense. I can feel the Force again. My connection to the Force is even stronger than before. It's not going to be with more lies. So far we haven't been denying anything. Uh, keeping with the way we've been playing, let's go. My connection to the Force is even stronger than before. Yes. You can feel the force, but you cannot feel yourself. You are uh -oh. a cipher, forming bonds, leeching the wait, life wait, of wait, others, wait. siphoning their will and leeching. dominating them. It is the teaching of these new Sith 
to feed on others, on other force sensitives. Oh. They are symptomatic of the wound in the force. You are a breach that must be closed. You transmit your pain, your suffering through the force. Within you, we see something worse than merely the teachings of the Sith. What you carry may mean the death of the Force and the death of the mm. Jedi. Over dramatic much? Uh, that seems the dark. Uh, but I can feel the Force strongly. I'm stronger than I ever was. Uh, let's try. But I can feel the Force strongly. So you think. It is not the strength of a Jedi you feel. He's right. It's all the death you've caused to get here. Hey, hey, hey. You they attacked it. me first. You grow stronger. You're like Malachor. It's in you. It's what you are now. Yeah. You must have noticed yeah, that does. You across all these planets, killing hundreds, only to become more and more powerful. Why do you think that was? But what's worse is that bonding you have. It hasn't gone away. It's gotten stronger. And the more attachments you form, the more you draw others to you. And that is why you are a threat to us all. Uh... Could the Council of Crypticness please give me a straight answer? What if other Jedi went to war as you did, suffered the same events, and emerged as you did? What if there was a crucible that trained such Jedi to consume and kill? For you... Malachor was that crucible. What's worse is the Sith that we face. I fear that they have learned the lesson of Malachor all too well. It is what allows them to prey on Force users. It, to become stronger. A straight answer, please. Is Somehow a straight answer against the Jedi Code? Or is that just when you so reach you a certain level at, at, at the Jedi, Jedi Council? And perhaps all the knowledge of the Force. Like. But it is of no consequence. Your ability to make such connections, such bonds, so easily are why you cannot remain. Uh oh. They're gonna try to kill me, aren't they? And so you wait, as a shadow. Yes, we are alike that way, blinded one. I would have thought you would walk with him amongst the Jedi. But that is not the way of the Sith, is it? Uh -oh. <laughs> Do not speak to me of the ways of the Sith. You, of all of us, have no conception of what it means to be Sith. You are a threat to living creatures. Yeah, this is about to go bad, isn't it? Force. You will lead the Sith here, and that we cannot allow. Our judgment before remains. Exile. You must leave. And you must leave without your tie to the Force. Can I not get more answers? reserved for only a few, and only when necessary. But we have the power to cut you off from the Force, and it oh, must but I had other questions. Forgive us, but it is necessary. Um... <laughs> the first one who touches me dies. Say sever again. No. Um... Alright, I'll submit if that's what must be done. Alright, and that's what must be done. Do not be afraid. You shall feel yeah, no I don't pain, know. But this must be done. Why, why do I feel it? You're kind of sad that I feel, feel no pain. Force, you are a danger to those around you. Enough. Oh. Step away from him. What? Step away. <laughs> he has brought truth, and you condemn it? The arrogance. You will not harm him. You will not harm him ever again. I thought you had died in the Mandalorian Wars. Uh -huh. Die? No. Became stronger. Yes. Is this your new master, Exile? If so, then you follow Revan's path. Her teachings will cause you to fall as surely as he did. She is difficult to see. She's like a shadow of the Exile. She sought to bring the Sith out, and now they have come to us. How could you ever hope to know the threat you face when you have never walked in the dark places of the galaxy, faced war and death on such a scale? If you had traveled far enough, yeah, I don't, rather than I don't see this going well. to reach you, perhaps you would have seen it for what it was. Did you not hear its call on Dantooine Vrook, on its scarred surface, and in the minds of the settlers? 
I have endured your corruption of my other students. You shall not have this one. And you, Kabal, so close to the call of Daxan, tell me, did you not feel what poured from the moon, what had taken place there? And Zezkael, to hide upon Nashada, yet blind yourself to all that happens there. So close to understanding the Force. So close to giving it up. There is a place in the galaxy where the dark side of the Force runs strong. It is something of the Sith. Fueled by the war or fueled the war? It corrupts all that walks on its surface. Drowns them in the power of the dark side. It corrupts all life and it feeds on death. Revan knew the power of such places and the power in making them. Oh. They can be used to break the will of others, of Jedi, promising them power and turning them to the dark side. Did you never wonder how Revan corrupted so many of the Jedi, so much of the Republic, so quickly? Oh. The Mandalorian Wars were a series of massacres that masked another war, a war of conversion, culminating in a final atrocity that no Jedi could walk away from, save one. And that is what I sought to understand. How one could turn away from such power, give up the Force, and still live. But I see what happened now. It is because you were afraid. Afraid? As you would pass judgment on him, I have come to pass judgment on you all. Do you wish to feel the teachings born of the Mandalorian Wars, <laughs> of all wars, of all tragedies that I don't know that's quite galaxy. Karen, Let but... Let me show you, you, who have forever seen the galaxy through the Force. See it through the eyes of the Exile. Uh... Did she just take out three Jedi Masters? I think she just took out three Jedi Masters. This does not look like it's going to bode well. You. Oh, yes. At last, you see. I am one of the Sith. Yeah. Is true. I, must I think we could tell that a while actions, ago, though. And it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. What are we going to do? If we don't stop her, then everyone, everywhere, they're going to lose their lives. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring him before you, but I will not let you have him. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. I know Someday you your ship will come? I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if uh. I can save something in this galaxy, I need to do this, or I will die inside. Like I died at I wonder, I wonder how this final scene plays out if you go all dark side. I might have to do a second playthrough one of these days. And just be as evil as I can. You have gained a new light side force power. Force enlightenment. Journal entry added. I don't see a new journal entry. I'm curious. Uh, where is force enlightenment? Force enlightenment. This power allows a Jedi to use the light side of the force to enhance the Jedi's powers. The best of the Jedi's speed, armor, and valor powers are instantly activated at a reduced cost. This power is useful to quickly become ready for difficult battles. Uh... Oh! Oh, nice! Oh, I gotta remember that. Alright, let's check on the Masters here. The Master is dead? Drained of life? His body is worse than lifeless. It's an absence in the Force. Um... Same. And just in the interest of thoroughness, I'll check. Same. So she... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't want to force it. Uh, she just drained them all. Of everything. Like, they are all... They're not just dead. They are all the dead. Where's... Where are my minions? 
Oh, but this is the old enclave. That this is uh, this is actually pretty close to the same layout. Skill too low. Oh, broken item. All right. I guess I should have uh, used Force Valor to up my skill a little bit, or used one of the mines. But I get for being impatient. I forgot, I completely forgot that uh, bashing open boxes increases the chances of them being broken. Alright. Let's see what else there is, and then we'll take a short break. A corpse. Credits, a mental boost implant. Oh, lots of credits. I don't know when I'm going to use it, but, uh, alright. Mental Boost Implant. Charisma, Intelligence, and Wisdom. Alright, there's... Yeah, I didn't realize this at the beginning, but basically implants are the first level, systems are the second level, and D packages are the top tier. Uh, so that means that there's probably a Mental Boost system, which I might want to go ahead and use as soon as I can craft one up. I have a funny feeling that's about to happen in a minute here. Uh, let's finish exploring this, and then we'll head back to the ship. See if there's anything else of use down here. Assuming I didn't break all the useful things. And on this corpse, we got a Durastel Underleg, and Discharger. Ooh, a crystal. That could actually be useful, because I need to... I need to put together a couple of lightsabers to give to Beodor, since I trained him as a guardian, and can I, uh, uh-oh, you're unable to change party at this time, okay, all right, I'll take care of him in a little bit, let's head out to the courtyard and see, oh, good, we ran straight to the ship. Here. The handmaiden took her. She thinks Kreia killed you. Um. But she did. Of course she didn't. It's a lie. Another lie. The only thing that matters is the handmaiden believes it, and she's going to react exactly how that old witch hoped she would. That's why oh. she wanted the handmaiden on board, you know, so she could use her to reach the Telos Academy whenever she wished. Without needing okay. the access codes. Uh, um, the handmaiden wouldn't betray the academy like that. She would, if she thought she was bringing Atris a prisoner, oh. especially a Sith Lord. She'll okay. take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do to anyone she thinks is a Sith. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she will. If she can. Then we're going to Telos. That's what I was afraid you'd say. <laughs> Hooray, it's time we flew. So which one is Ickle Me and which one is Pickle Me and which one is Tickle Me Too? I must be Ickle because he was captain. And for those of you wondering what I'm bab babbling on about, go go read some Shell Silverstein, please. Do yourself a favor. Especially the delightful Ickle Me, Pickle Me, Tickle Me too. Something troubles you. I can feel it. Um, I fear I've been influencing you all without realizing it. I do not understand what you mean. Uh. Hmm. Why are you following me? Do you ever wonder why you're with me? Do you understand why you attack who I attack and kill who I kill? Uh, because of the game. Uh, no. Let's go with the first one. I would die for you. 
when I tell you my life for yours. Pickles, Captain Pickles crew. my choice. And if there is an ending between us where my sacrifice can save you, it will be because it is my desire, not your will. Yeah, that, that, that's what a thrall herd would say. Uh, but how do you know? I simply do. And sometimes there is no reason that can be given. What did you learn within the Jedi Academy? Um, that I formed connections through the Force, and this is why others follow me to their death. That I was a wound in the Force, as long as I live, that wound will never heal. All the deaths I caused on Malachor might cause the death of the Force and everyone around me. Um, let's try the first one. Then that is the danger of their beliefs. They do not understand you, what it means to be human, to lead. The feelings I have for you are because of what I see. I got the coffee. I, hear in your I need some mulligans too. All that tells me you are a natural leader. I follow because I believe in you. I would die or for you because, because of a force bond. And where they look at you or because of a force bond. Of the force. I look at you and see hope for all life. I look at you and see that perhaps a life untouched by the Force is not the punishment it is believed to be. I will understand if you feel you must go on alone, but I ask that you do not. Instead, take strength from your connection to others. Do not forsake them as you did in exile. <laughs> Alright, I will or do not lecture... No, I will. Are the others going to visit me too? Uh, if there's something you would say, say it. You know your master and I will fight soon at Telos. Was there something more you wish to say? Uh, let's go with wait, you're troubled, why? He awaits you at Telos. If you go there, you must face him. And when you do, he will wound you as he has wounded me. Uh, I do not run from any battle. Or any man. He may wound me. Uh, sorry, or any man. And, and all I can think is that, that scene from The Lord of the Rings. But I'm no man. Is Darth Nihilus going to remove her mask? I have to face him. Uh, if I do not stop him, then Telos will be destroyed. He may wound me, but I will kill him. No, no, no. I, I'm concerned about Telos. I ask you. Beg you to stay here with me. Uh, why? I want to look upon you where no one else can see, where it is just. Oh, us. I want to see your face. Um, the color of your skin. I wish to see what the handmaiden sees when she looks at you. That causes her heart to race and her tone to change. What causes her to forsake her heritage, her oaths, <laughs> as you made me forsake mine? Um, I need to know if perhaps I. Is it because wrong. of how I handle the lightsaber? If the universe is not as my master once showed me. Um, it's not the Jedi, but I cannot stay here with you. Jedi are allowed no such attachments. That, that's a little. Uh, special, <laughs> given what I've already, already talked to the Handmaiden about, so, uh, the universe is not solely as our eyes make it out to be. You know this. From the moment I heard your voice across the galaxy. Oh. I have longed for you. Um. It is the echo, a wound that travels still, that when heard, made me understand that there was another wounded as I was. One who had felt the same sense of loss. When I heard oh. it, I loved you more than my own life. Oh, yeah. I was playing I with the squeaky to toy. here with me for as long as you will let me love you. Stay. And I want you to see what I see when I gaze upon you. Um. I want you to know why I cannot look at you. I was not expecting a, a love triangle on the good ship Evan Hawk. Alright, then let us look upon each other. 
No. I cannot stay. More likely. If I do, it will weaken me for the struggle ahead. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought you had a higher constitution than that. A higher endurance. <clears throat> I'm going to wait. No, I tire of this. Leave me. I cannot stay. Let's just go with I cannot stay. I know. And yet it was something that had to be spoken. If nothing but to hear the echo. Well, that was, that was something. Oh, uh, uh, all right, come on, game. Here comes another video. Dun, dun, dun. And another extended episode. <laughs> Oops. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. It is not the first time we have met, Atreus. I was here before. With the exile? Yes, I was okay. here both times when the exile was brought before you. Who are you? I was the one who asked him to be exiled. Wait, what? I did as you asked so long ago. You, you seem familiar to me. Atrus, I have always been here. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, um. the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Treyer, and that she cast aside that hmm. role, was exiled, and found a new purpose. But there must always be a Darth Treyer, one that holds the knowledge of betrayal who has been betrayed in their heart, and will betray in turn. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith, but there is not enough truth in such teachings. But it will be a step for you. You have gathered Sith holocrons, Sith teachings from across the galaxy. It is why you have chosen servants who cannot feel the Force. And most importantly, they cannot feel what you have become. Oh. I have sought to preserve the Jedi Order, and I have gathered all that I know of the Sith to this place. So I might find them. Why do I feel like that's stop. not quite the way that happened? I had wondered if any of these holocrons had survived Dantooine. You have taken relics from one destroyed planet to the devastation of another. It was always intended for the Jedi to retreat to Telos should Dantooine be attacked, taking all their lore with them. Hmm. They could not allow the tragedy at Osis to happen again. Such an act marked Telos for destruction. It is why the Sith came here, though the fleet commanders did not know why. Oh, it I thought it was Revan because I was there. It's destruction to mark the beginning of the Jedi's civil war. It was a message that there would be no place for the Jedi to retreat, to hide. I would not be surprised if Revan left other gifts beneath the surface of the planet. Much can be buried beneath graveyards that will never be found. When the Sith attacked, I felt Telos die. Turbo lasers fell like lightning upon the landscape, as they did on Dantooine. And so many died. So many voices screaming in pain yes such acts leave their mark on the galaxy their cries travel far though few can hear them how did it happen search your heart it was never battle that called to you never battle that caused you to fall alakor 5 has touched many things and it casts its echoes still why did he betray me you betrayed yourself do not blame <laughs> the exile and unlike you and i there is still a chance that one may be saved the one that you cast out. Where is the exile? I had thought. Oh, he will come. But it will be too late to save either of us. Oh. It is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Okay. Your mistress awaits. She has much to share with you. Well, that sounds ominous. With the endless videos, I really need to insert a break. Uh-oh. The last of the handmaidens is before us. It is good that you have returned. You have much to answer for. What are you saying? You have betrayed us. You have betrayed Atris. You are no longer one of us. You followed the Jedi, betrayed your oath. Listen to me. Atris has been touched by the Sith. It is not too late for... 
silence. Uh -oh. It is a crime to kill blood, but not to kill a betrayer as you. Okay. Uh, and it's no crime to kill blind ones such as you? No. Uh, you're right. I'm no longer one of you. I am stronger. Uh, if you stand in my way, then you shall die. I will not fight you. Would you like to see how this ends? If you're on the live stream, hang tight. If you're on YouTube, you'll have to wait for the next episode. But, uh, yeah, no, Atrus is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Let me, uh, let me insert a short break in the live stream. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.